Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In this video we are going to take a look at IGBT transistor and modules specifically. There are as you can see many kinds of them from more simple to more complex. Um, they can handle really big power uh, compared to their size and uh, we will going to take a look how you can test them and see if they are good or working of the or if they are bad and need replacing in most cases the IGBT modules consist of uh, six IGBT transistors and that is to drive uh, three phase devices or create three phases for an uh, inverter uh, to power house or whatever. In most cases these are used to drive uh, electrical motors and uh, adjust their speed and uh, they are simple examples as this one which has six IGBT transistors and that's it or like this one which has also a bridge rectifier in it oh, or this one we'll take a look that has also a bridge rectifier in it so let's take a look at this very small one and as you can see it has uh, much more than the six IGBD transistors uh, the symbol looks like a transistor but they have a gate and um, the great thing about them is that you can drive them with uh, zero current actually uh, they are voltage operated so let's take a look at this small module and we see that it does have a full bridge rectifier a PFC uh, sub module with a diode capacitor a MOSFET and the sand resistor to measure the current and then we have our IGBT module consisting of six transistors uh, they are all wired in couples to create its phase um, as you can see they, they, they do have a reverse diode all of them which is something we also need to check and finally most of the modules have a NTC thermistor to measure uh, the temperature inside the module let's first of all test this one which as you can see here is the oops here is the uh, diagram and the pinout having uh, checked as many as I had I remember by heart the pin on the pin out on this ones so let's take a look here we have a I think faulty one we will take it and here is a new one so first of all what I do is I measure the six diodes uh, and see if they're measuring okay so in order to do that we need to take uh, the positive side meaning here and measure its point and then 
we have to measure with the plus uh, on the anode side and the minus on the cathode side its diode as well. So in this case uh, the P pins are these two so for that we put the minus on the positive side and then we need to check the output pins of each phase so W is here and we see we have a good diode there U is here we also have a good di diode there and V is here sorry yeah. V is here so that's our first three diodes checked they are all measuring ok now in order to measure the bottom side of this these three transistors we need to go from EU which is up here in reverse our leads with EU here and U here diode is ok then next one is EV which is here with V which is here this one is good as well and to check the last one EW here with W which is just here and that one is good as well so now that we have checked all the diodes we need to take our multimeter in ohms position and uh, make the same checks as well but also check with the gate of its transistor so I have my one lead in the um, positive sorry it's not this one it is here and let's check the first transistor uh, so G1 the gate 1 is this one no problems there so it's easier to measure um, the three transistors are well so we go with the flow this one no problems here and this one no problems there so the three tops one the three top ones are okay but we need to measure with the gate as well no problems there no problems there no problems there nothing there nothing there and no shorts there now in order to check the bottom transistors we need to, to check between its phase so from uh, U here to EU we see we have 6.6 mega ohms next one is V so from here to EV which is here and as we can see we have 6.7 mega ohms that is a good measurement that we don't have any sorts or problems and finally the last one 
we have to go to W with EW which is here and as we can see we also have 6.9 uh, mega ohms which is a good measurement so this module is good let's take a look to a different one so most of these ones don't like to get printed I don't know how why it gets um, that washed out but here is the schematic in front of you and actually it is this module so let's measure it start in diode mode and measure our six diodes we have to find pins 25 26 which is, are those two ones so here is our minus and we check with its output one diode is good oh, that one is good as well and that one is good now check the other ones for that we need to find pins 27 28 reverse our leads also which are here and again with its face so all those are measuring good let's uh, take a norms measurement as well all good there And as you can see, now I am measuring from the minus side here to this output. And as you can see, we are measuring 200 kilo ohm, which indicates that this module is bad. And that will definitely create a problem as the uh, IGPT transistor will stay open. Let's measure the other ones as well. 12K here, even worse. And 13K here. So all of these are damaged. Let's check them with their, uh, with their gate. Just to make sure I am, um, yeah, one here two here oh. they make contact and as you can see the gates look at that 200 ohms definitely sorted so is there any other measurements I can take gate with the output so this one is sorted as well gate that one is good that one is also sorted and the last one that one is good also sorted so this is a body module and actually I did find a good one that we can compare so let's do the same thing here as you can see nothing 
और इन माई गाउम्स ऑल्सो दिज पॉइंट एट पॉइंट एट पॉइंट एट दैट इज अ गुड मॉड्यूल एंड लेट्स चेक द गेट्स विथ दिस वन फॉर एग्जाम्पल आज यू कैन सी इट्स टोटली ओपन एंड विथ द आउटपुट ऑफ द ट्रांजिस्टोर इट इज टोटली ओपन Now next one is this Mitsubishi one. As you can see and here is its internal circuit. As you can see the gate drivers are internal so in this case the gate check does not apply. Uh let's see what is going on with this one. Actually this might be easier. I think the pinout is is correct. So actually P is here. U V and W I think let's check it again Here is the first diode second diode third diode is good Now let's check this one is good Sorry this one is good and this one is good let's check on the bad module as well this one is good good also good here let's check the other ones and here we have a sort sort it as well and this one is good let's check the ohms as well here we are good here good check and now as you can see a sort <laughs> just zero ohms definitely a bad module And finally let's take a look at this one that includes a three phase full bridge rectifier and a break or chopper circuit as it as it is called which also has an uh, IGBD transistor as you can see Let's check this one now for this one we need to check the six diodes of the bridge rectifier and the six diodes of the IGBT module we can also check a seventh diode here so all in all 13 measurements for in diode mode let's start okay that is the wrong module here is the correct one <laughs> so let's start again oh i've closed the pins outside this should be connected oh. let's take this one so again pin 21 which is here minus here plus here
so we definitely have a bad diode there let's check the next one flash on the 2 on the 21 nothing there let's check this one as well these modules are definitely toast there we go one diode out of the three and in order to check uh, the bottom ones we have to go to pin 23 so 21 22 23 here we need to put the plus and again one two three only the last one is good and in on this one one two three they're all bad Super circuit so pin 7 which is this one here to check the diode and pin 22 this diode is ok now let's check if it is sorted to the minus side or ground side here that looks good and now let's take our measurements for the diodes of uh, of the um, IGPD module no 24 is here so we take it from here to here this one is good this one is bad am I looking at the correct pins? no so 24 is here and we have 4 this one is good 5, this one is good and 6 this one is bad there so we checked those bottom ones let's do let's do the top ones as well reverse our test leads 22 is here and then let's start good one good one and finally this is a bad one i don't know if i have shown this module but it is incredible ah the pin is totally disconnected look at that it's really amazing you can see all the dyes there everything is open to the visible eye now that was it for today hit the like button if you found this video interesting consider subscribing if you enjoy this content see you on the next one bye